it goes in plain and it comes out all printed. This is the most important part of making a football. If this is wrong, the football's not going to be good. Welcome to the Wilson Sporting Goods Football Factory in Ada, where every ball is steamed and stretched, blown up after it's sewn, and crafted by bare but bandaged hands until it's ready for the field. Now I remember when Jim Brown played. Dan Regal, in his 35th year at Wilson, is the plant manager here, 87 miles north of Dayton. Yeah, we make uh, between three and 4,000 game footballs here every day. Including the 108 balls each they made for the Denver Broncos and Carolina Panthers for Super Bowl 50. I'm a second generation lacer. My mom taught me how. So there's quite a few second generation people in here. Donna Conley laced every one of those game balls. To put out a product that is known nationwide and around the world. So it's a sense of pride for everybody. I mean, that's one, going to be one of the most televised games ever. And I mean, it's Super Bowl 50. Caitlin Long stitched together one of them that could help decide the NFL's next champion. I'm going to be pretty proud. I mean, like, no one will probably know that I made that football. And you'll know it. Yeah, I'll know it. I'll know it. My family will know it. <laughs> So when you watch the big game here on Channel 7. And just keep your eye on the ball. And think of the plan. You're more than a fan. You're also wanting the ball to perform. You're wanting great catches, you know. It's like, yeah, we made that ball. And think of this plan and the folks inside here in Ada. They're proud and it puts us on the map every year. The balls that will be used in the Super Bowl made the 2,300 mile trip from Ada to Santa Clara, California earlier this week. In Ada, I'm John Bedell, New Center 7.